I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for the Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. From the Tor Nation Productions studio, here is anchor Isaiah Courtney. Reporting from the worldwide headquarters of Tor Nation Productions, located at Ball High School in Galveston, Texas, welcome to Good Morning Ball High. I'm Isaiah Courtney. This year's annual ABC 13 Share Your Holidays Food Drive will be held on Friday, December 7th. As always, the local drop-off site will be here at Ball High School, out front on Avenue O by the clock. Everybody's invited to participate. Non-perishable food items may be dropped off from 6 a.m. to 12 noon on December 7th. For further information, please see Mr. Dudas. And if you've written a poem that you would like to share with the world, submit your work to Mr. Carpenter in room 2033 or email them to tomcarpenter at gisd.org. And your work can be published in the Ball Street Journal's online edition. The poem's subject and content must meet Mr. Pillar's approval. A panel of English teachers will determine the top three entries and they will be published in the next printed issue of the Ball Street Journal. If you've ever wanted to be a published author, take advantage of this opportunity. All authors retain the copyright to their work. And checking today's national calendar, it's National Electronic Greetings Day. Now let's check in with the seven-day weather forecast powered by Josh and Malu in the morning. Heard weekdays on KTOR to Tornado at KTORTheTornado.com. Now let's check in with Rory and see what's trending on social media. Thanks, Isaiah, and here's what's trending today on social media. The NASA Celebration handshake that just might be the best ever. A gender reveal that went terribly wrong. And SpongeBob creator Steven Hillenburg has died. Back to you, Isaiah. Thanks, Rory. Here's today's Fitness Minute with Annette Hammond. It's the Fitness Minute with fitness expert Annette Hammond. Do you want to live longer? Then eat a handful of nuts every day. According to a 30-year Harvard study, the risk of dying of heart disease dropped 29% and the risk of dying of cancer fell 11% among those who had nuts seven or more times a week compared with people who never ate them. We also know that people who eat nuts every day, be it peanuts, walnuts, pecans, pistachios, or my favorite, almonds, stay slimmer than those who do not eat nuts. The study found that the participants who often ate nuts were also healthier. They weighed less, exercised more, and were less likely to smoke, among other things. Not only do nuts taste delicious, now we have research that shows they increase longevity. Having a handful of nuts every day is a great healthy living practice. For the Fitness Minute, I'm Annette Hammond. Here's today's Words You've Never Heard segment. It's Words You've Never Heard. Did you ever notice you buy more groceries when you use a large shopping cart? The shopping cart, or trolley as it was originally called, was invented in 1937 by Sylvan Goldman, owner of two Oklahoma City grocery stores. Back then, shoppers carried their food in wicker baskets. One day, Goldman was observing his customers and realized that as soon as their baskets were full, or too heavy on their arm, people stopped shopping. Goldman thought if we could somehow give customers two baskets, we could do considerably more business. What's another word for a resourceful person? A debrouillard. Goldman put wheels on some folding chairs, attached two baskets to the seat, and let the back of the chair act as a handle so the cart could be pushed with one hand. What do you call anything that can be manipulated with one hand? A thumbadoodle. It's marching down. 
I'm Carolyn Davidson, and you can have fun challenging your words you never heard vocabulary with my free app, Too Funny for Words. Now stay tuned for today's Tower Rewind, courtesy of our good friend, David Mendel. <laughs> It's Time Rewind for November 29th. In 1962, Major League Baseball executives decide to return to a single All-Star game a year beginning with the 1963 season. From 1959 through 62, two All-Star games were played each year. On this day in 1963, President Lyndon Johnson establishes the Warren Commission to investigate the JFK assassination. Let's reminisce the singles that were number one on November 29th through the years, beginning with the Beatles. Learn more about what happened on this day at time-rewind.com. I'm David Mendel. In addition to the website, Time Rewind can also be found on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Check it out for even more pop culture and trivia. I'm Isaiah, and have a terrific day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.